Did you know that the way you present yourself can dramatically influence how others perceive you? In a world overflowing with noise and distraction, first impressions can make or break relationships, opportunities, and even your personal confidence. If you want to command respect, forge meaningful connections, and become the kind of person others admire, you need to master a few timeless principles rooted in both modern psychology and ancient wisdom. Today, we're diving deep into powerful techniques that will not only help you impress those around you, but also transform you into a person of substance and character. Whether you're stepping into a boardroom, mingling at social events, or simply wanting to strengthen your personal relationships, the insights we'll explore can elevate your presence and impact. So, get ready to embark on a journey of self-improvement as we uncover essential skills that will reshape how you interact with the world. You won't want to miss these strategies that can change your life. 1. Master the art of active listening. Imagine this, you're in a crowded cafe. The buzz of chatter surrounds you. As you sip your coffee, you catch snippets of laughter and friendly banter, each person immersed in their own world. It feels good to be part of such a vibrant atmosphere, doesn't it? Now, picture someone across the table from you, sharing a story. Their eyes light up, and their voice carries an infectious enthusiasm. You feel that familiar rush of excitement, wanting to engage, to be part of that moment. But then, as you listen, you realize that they're not just talking to fill the air, they're sharing a piece of themselves. This moment is a reminder of how good it feels to connect. But what if, instead of nodding along, you truly tuned in? What if you mastered the art of active listening? Active listening is more than just hearing words. It's about diving deep into the conversation. It's about maintaining eye contact, showing genuine interest, and responding thoughtfully. Remember the last time you had a conversation that made you feel truly heard? Maybe it was with a friend you hadn't seen in years, or a family member sharing their hopes and dreams. There's a warmth in those moments, a nostalgia for the connections that make us feel alive. By actively engaging, you're not just listening, you're honoring the person speaking to you. Think back to your own experiences. Have you ever been in a conversation where the other person was distracted, checking their phone or gazing out the window? It can be frustrating, even disheartening. We all crave that connection, the feeling of being valued and understood. By practicing active listening, you not only enrich your conversations, but also create a safe space for others to express themselves. This technique fosters trust, drawing people closer to you. As you consider this, a sense of curiosity might begin to build within you. How can you become that person who makes others feel genuinely valued? What small changes can you implement in your daily interactions to become a master listener? 2. Embody confidence through posture. Now, let's shift our focus to something we often overlook posture. Think about a time when you felt invincible. Maybe it was during a major accomplishment, graduating, landing a new job, or even just owning the dance floor at a party. In those moments, you stood tall, shoulders back, radiating confidence. That feeling is electric. It's a mix of joy and empowerment, as if the world is yours for the taking. But what if I told you that this confidence can be cultivated, not just through accomplishments, but by something as simple as how you carry yourself? Posture is a powerful tool. It speaks volumes before you even say a word. Research suggests that adopting a confident posture can actually alter your body chemistry, increasing testosterone and decreasing cortisol. Imagine the impact of standing tall, with your chin up and shoulders back, not just in the moments of celebration, but in everyday situations. You walk into a room and heads turn not just because of how you look, but because of the energy you project. It's a remarkable feeling, one that taps into both your inner strength and the way others perceive you. 
Reflect on the last time you felt a little low. Maybe it was during a challenging day at work or after receiving critical feedback. Did you find yourself slumping, withdrawing into yourself? It's a common reaction, but it doesn't have to define you. Instead, remember that your body is a canvas. With every straightened back and purposeful stride, you can paint a picture of resilience and confidence. This nostalgic recollection brings forth a longing for those empowered moments. How do we return to that state? Curiosity begins to stir. What if you practice this every day? What small adjustments can you make to your posture in the office, at home, or even while socializing? Imagine walking into your next meeting or social event, exuding confidence, capturing attention effortlessly. 3. Harness the power of silence. Now let's explore the power of silence. Close your eyes for a moment and think of a time when the silence in a room felt charged, like a coiled spring ready to release energy. Perhaps it was during a poignant moment in a movie, a shared glance with someone special, or even a dramatic pause during a speech. Those moments resonate deeply, don't they? There's a certain magic in silence that often goes unnoticed amidst our fast-paced lives. In a world filled with constant chatter, harnessing silence can set you apart. It allows you to create space for thought, reflection and anticipation. Imagine being in a conversation where instead of rushing to fill every gap with words, you let silence linger for just a moment. It's in that pause that deeper connections can form and the other person feels compelled to share more. It's a powerful technique used by great communicators throughout history. Think back to a time when you experienced an uncomfortable silence. Maybe it was during a first date, an awkward family gathering, or even a job interview. Those moments can feel heavy, like a weight pressing down. But what if you reframed silence? What if you saw it as an opportunity to listen and reflect, rather than a void to be filled? This perspective shift can be nostalgic, reminding you of the moments when silence was comfortable, perhaps in the presence of a loved one, or during a peaceful walk alone. As you consider the power of silence, a wave of curiosity washes over you. How can you incorporate this technique into your daily interactions? What would happen if you allowed for those quiet moments in conversations, creating a deeper connection with those around you? The beauty of silence lies in its ability to foster understanding, and it opens doors to more meaningful exchanges. 4. Show genuine interest in others. Now, let's dive into the profound impact of showing genuine interest in others. Picture a moment where someone asked you about your passions, your hobbies, your dreams, your journey. The feeling of being valued and understood is uplifting, isn't it? It creates a spark of joy, like a warm ray of sunshine breaking through a cloudy day. This simple act of interest can transform a mundane conversation into a memorable connection. Reflect on those times when someone took a genuine interest in you. Maybe it was a mentor who encouraged you to chase your dreams, or a friend who listened intently as you shared your worries. Those moments linger in our minds, creating a sense of nostalgia for the warmth of human connection. We remember how it felt to be seen and heard, and it evokes a longing for more of those enriching experiences. But how can you become that person for others? Showing genuine interest isn't about asking superficial questions, it's about diving deeper. Start by asking open-ended questions that invite stories and insights. Instead of merely inquiring about someone's weekend plans, ask about their favorite memories or what inspires them. Listen actively, remembering details and following up in future conversations. This approach not only strengthens your bond, but also creates a ripple effect of positivity, making those around you feel valued and cherished. As you consider this, a sense of curiosity might arise. How can you incorporate this technique into your everyday interactions? 
What small changes can you make to engage more meaningfully with friends, family, or even strangers? By cultivating this practice, you can transform every interaction into a potential opportunity for connection, enriching both your life and the lives of those around you. 5. Master the art of asking questions. Next, let's explore the art of asking questions. Remember a time when someone posed a question that truly made you think, perhaps challenging your beliefs or inspiring you to dig deeper. That feeling of enlightenment is exhilarating, like a light bulb flickering on in a dark room. Questions hold immense power. They can spark curiosity, encourage dialogue, and even foster growth. In a world where many conversations are surface level, the ability to ask thought-provoking questions can set you apart. Think back to a class discussion or a brainstorming session where someone asked a question that shifted the entire dynamic. Those moments are often remembered fondly, evoking nostalgia for the creativity and engagement they ignited. They remind us of how powerful a well-placed question can be, guiding conversations toward meaningful exploration and understanding. But what makes a question truly effective? It's about crafting inquiries that encourage elaboration and reflection. Open-ended questions, clarifying questions, and hypothetical scenarios can all stimulate deeper discussions. Instead of asking, did you enjoy the movie? Try, what did you find most thought-provoking about the film? This invites a richer response and can lead to unexpected insights. As you contemplate this technique, curiosity begins to bubble up. How can you practice this art in your daily life? What types of questions can you prepare to foster deeper connections with colleagues, friends or family members? By becoming a master questioner, you not only enrich your conversations, but also position yourself as a thoughtful and engaging presence in any discussion. 6. Practice Emotional Regulation now, let's talk about emotional regulation, a skill that can profoundly change the way you interact with the world. Think back to a time when you faced a challenging situation, perhaps a stressful deadline, a heated argument, or an unexpected setback. The emotions felt overwhelming, like a tidal wave crashing down. In those moments, it can be difficult to remain composed, and yet, there's a sense of satisfaction that comes from navigating those challenges with grace. Emotional regulation is the ability to understand, acknowledge, and choose how to express your feelings. It's a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, reminding us that while we cannot control external events, we can control our reactions. Picture the last time you encountered a tough situation but managed to remain calm and collected. The pride in that moment can be invigorating. It brings back a nostalgic feeling of resilience, the knowledge that you have the power to navigate life's ups and downs. But how do we cultivate this crucial skill? Start by practicing mindfulness. Take a moment to pause, breathe, and observe your emotional state without judgment. When faced with a challenging scenario, implement techniques like negative visualization, where you prepare mentally for potential outcomes. This allows you to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. As you reflect on these practices, curiosity starts to spark. What would it look like to develop a personalized routine for emotional regulation? How can you incorporate breathing techniques or reflection practices into your daily life? By mastering emotional regulation, you not only enhance your own well-being, but also become a steady influence for those around you, demonstrating the power of calm amidst chaos. 7. Demonstrate consistency in words and actions. Let's explore the powerful principle of demonstrating consistency in words and actions. Think back to a time when someone made a promise to you. Perhaps a friend who said they'd always be there for you, or a colleague who assured you they would follow through on a project. When those words were upheld, it felt like a warm embrace, creating a sense of trust and safety. 
that feeling of reliability is uplifting and fosters strong bonds. Now consider the opposite scenario. Imagine someone who frequently breaks promises or fails to follow through. Each time they do, it feels like a small disappointment, eroding trust bit by bit. It's a familiar experience that can evoke feelings of frustration and sadness, reminding us of the importance of integrity in our relationships. Demonstrating consistency is more than just about keeping promises, it's about aligning your actions with your values. The Stoics emphasize the significance of this alignment, believing that our words should mirror our lives. When you embody this principle, you create a reputation built on integrity. It's like a beacon that draws others toward you, offering a sense of assurance that you can be relied upon. Think of a time when you were recognized for your reliability. Maybe it was at work, where colleagues sought your input because they knew you'd follow through, or in your personal life, where friends felt safe confiding in you. These moments are filled with nostalgia, evoking memories of how trust fosters deeper connections. They remind us of the comfort that comes from knowing someone will always stand by their word. Now let's ignite your curiosity. How can you cultivate this quality in your daily life? Start by being intentional with your commitments, make promises carefully, and when you do, move heaven and earth to keep them. Show up on time, follow through on plans, and be someone others can count on. Reflect on areas where you can improve, are there commitments you've made that you need to revisit? By taking these steps, you not only strengthen your relationships, but also become a person of substance and character, inspiring others to do the same. 8. Adopt a growth mindset. Next, let's delve into the transformative power of adopting a growth mindset. Remember a time when you faced a challenge that felt insurmountable? Perhaps it was learning a new skill, tackling a complex project at work, or even navigating personal obstacles. The initial feelings of doubt and frustration can be overwhelming, but amidst that struggle, there's also a flicker of excitement, a possibility of growth. This journey of growth is invigorating. It's filled with moments of triumph, like the exhilaration of finally mastering a difficult concept or the satisfaction of overcoming adversity. Those moments create a sense of nostalgia for the times when you pushed through difficulties and emerged stronger on the other side. The joy of learning and evolving is a universal experience, one that resonates deeply across ages and backgrounds. A growth mindset, a term popularized by psychologist Carol Dweck, is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, learning and persistence. This mindset encourages you to view challenges as opportunities rather than obstacles. Instead of shying away from difficult tasks, you embrace them, fueled by the understanding that each effort contributes to your personal growth. Think back to when you encountered failure. How did you react? Did you feel defeated? Or did you analyze what went wrong and adjust your approach? Embracing a growth mindset means recognizing that failure is not the end, but a stepping stone on your path to success. It evokes nostalgia for times when you learned valuable lessons from your mistakes and used those experiences to propel yourself forward. As you reflect on this, curiosity begins to bubble up. How can you nurture a growth mindset in your own life? Start by reframing your inner dialogue. When faced with a challenge, instead of saying, I can't do this, shift to, I can learn how to do this. Embrace feedback as a tool for improvement rather than criticism. Seek out new experiences that push you out of your comfort zone, knowing that each step contributes to your growth. By adopting this mindset, you not only enhance your own life, but also inspire those around you to pursue their own paths of development. 9. Use the power of name repetition. Now, let's discuss a seemingly simple yet incredibly effective technique, the power of name repetition. Think back to a moment when someone remembered your name and used it in conversation. 
Perhaps it was a friendly barista who greeted you with a smile, or a new acquaintance who made an effort to remember your name. That small gesture creates an instant connection, evoking feelings of happiness and warmth. It's a reminder that we all long to be recognized and valued as individuals. When someone uses your name, it's more than just a word, it's an acknowledgement of your presence. It brings a sense of familiarity and rapport that can transform an ordinary interaction into something memorable. This feeling of connection is universal, and it resonates across different ages and backgrounds. We all crave that recognition, that feeling of being seen. Consider the opposite scenario. Have you ever been in a conversation where someone forgets your name? It can feel disheartening, almost as if the connection was one-sided. This experience often evokes nostalgia for those moments when people made an effort to engage with you. Remembering names is a powerful tool that can enhance your interactions and build stronger relationships. So how can you harness the power of name repetition in your own life? Start by making a conscious effort to remember names. When introduced to someone, repeat their name immediately in your response, like, it's great to meet you, Sarah. This simple act shows attentiveness and respect. Throughout the conversation, sprinkle their name in naturally, reinforcing that connection without overdoing it. Curiosity begins to stir. What other techniques can you incorporate to enhance your ability to connect with others? Consider jotting down names and details in a notebook after networking events or using mnemonic devices to help you remember. By making a concerted effort to remember and use names, you not only enrich your conversations, but also create a lasting impression that fosters deeper connections. 10. Show vulnerability judiciously. Now, let's delve into the powerful concept of showing vulnerability judiciously. Think back to a moment when someone opened up to you, sharing their fears, struggles or failures. Perhaps it was a friend who admitted their doubts about a career choice, or a loved one who expressed their worries during a tough time. That honesty can create an immediate sense of connection, sparking happiness and relief as you realize you're not alone in your struggles. It's a reminder that everyone faces challenges, and in those moments, we find common ground. Reflect on how those vulnerable moments made you feel, perhaps nostalgic for times when you too allowed yourself to be open and honest. Remember the strength it takes to be vulnerable, to let down your guard and show your true self. These experiences evoke feelings of warmth and understanding fostering deeper bonds. Vulnerability isn't a weakness, it's a testament to our shared humanity. However, it's important to approach vulnerability with intention. The Stoics valued authenticity, teaching us that being real about our struggles can create meaningful connections. But how do we balance openness with the need for boundaries? Showing vulnerability doesn't mean oversharing or seeking pity, it's about finding the right moments to express your feelings authentically. When you share lessons from your past, it demonstrates self-awareness and a commitment to growth. Consider a time when you shared a personal story with someone, perhaps a failure that turned into a valuable lesson. That openness likely inspired trust and encouraged them to share their own experiences. It creates a safe space where both parties can engage honestly, leading to richer, more meaningful relationships. As you think about this, curiosity begins to stir. How can you practice showing vulnerability in your own life without feeling exposed? Start small, share a personal story with a close friend or express a challenge you're facing at work. Notice how that honesty invites deeper conversations and connections. Over time, you can cultivate this practice, finding moments where vulnerability fosters growth and understanding rather than fear. By showing vulnerability judiciously, you not only enrich your own life, but also become a beacon of authenticity for those around you. It demonstrates that strength lies in being real, 
and in a world that often feels disconnected, that authenticity is more important than ever. As we wrap up, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the techniques we've explored today. Each of these principles is a stepping stone toward becoming a person of true substance and character. By implementing even a few of these strategies, you'll not only impress others, but also cultivate a deeper sense of self-worth and confidence. If you found value in this journey, drop a comment with a hundred to show you're part of the elite 0.01% who are committed to finishing what they start. Remember, real change begins with action, so if you're serious about transforming your life, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insights and inspiration. Let's embark on this path of growth together.